Op Center Scheduling's main module is the Sequencer, which allows you to sequence your manufacturing orders, analyze resource usage, carry out what-if scenarios, and report on key performance indicators. You can also define your layout and windows to represent the most frequently used features. This simple layout shows the Unallocated window, which lists all operations not scheduled. The Plots window, a set of charts which show usage of secondary resources. The Gantt window, which shows the primary resources and, when scheduled, the operations as a single bar. The Operations Properties profile, which allows quick highlight and selecting of orders based on defined characteristics. A list is also produced of all the manufacturing orders. The Editor window shows all manufacturing orders and associated operations. With the Editor, you can filter, drill down, and author detailed order attributes based on scheduling requirements. The Gantt shows a list of machines or equipment and their associated capacity. This model can be changed using the Calendar Editor. Each machine has its own calendar structure. You can associate a template or create a unique shift pattern for each primary resource. For example, Metal Worker 1 has the template Working Day Applied, which can be changed to one of the default templates. Once the template has been applied, this shift pattern is reflected within the Gantt module. Manufacturing orders can be sequenced using one of the included scheduling rules. Here, they are scheduled based on due date. These are represented on the Gantt as a bar. Each represents an operation. The standard forward sequencing rule has scheduled the operations based on their due date. The validation tool confirms if the rule has sequenced all operations correctly. You can highlight operations and relationships to visualize the execution flow and identify bottlenecks. Here, we're highlighting a final assembly order. You can now quickly identify the execution flow and all related manufacturing and supply orders. This order is linked to a purchase order for pedals. The sequencing of operations does not just consider the capacity of the primary equipment, but also secondary resources. In this example, labor is a secondary constraint. Metal work operators have two available. You can quickly visualize the utilization on the plot window to show where those secondary resources are consumed. Selecting a plot will highlight the corresponding operations, which consume this secondary resource. The utilization grids have a bucketed view of usage to quickly identify resource overload or underutilization. With a valid schedule, statistics on the scheduled orders can be captured. With the Schedule Statistics tool, you can identify the number of orders that are running late due to bottlenecks, late materials, or low capacity within your model. Here, we see two late orders. To identify these two late orders, use the Advanced Highlighting feature. Having identified two late orders, a different scheduling method may help achieve 100% on-time delivery. First, remove all scheduled operations from the planning board. Next, change the sequencing logic. Previously, this was a forward sequence by due date rule. This time, it is a backward sequence by due date, which schedules all operations in a different sequence. To confirm the validation of the sequence, you can rerun the validation tool. We can also check scheduling statistics to confirm the number of late orders. OpCenter APS also allows you to manually alter the position of operations on the board. In this example, a shop floor planner changes the sequence of operations on Metal Worker 1. The sequencer reports any violations of secondary constraints, and the planner can choose to accept or ignore. The planner checks if the schedule is valid and has violated a constraint but the validation will also report sequence issues. The schedule is now invalid. Repairing the schedule changes the sequence of operations, but trying to repair the sequence avoids incompatible overlaps or violations of constraints. OpCenter APS gives the planner all the information required to make a full analysis of the schedule.